Greetings everyone, this is Coach Melody of Rebirth Dimension coming to you this week. I need to apologize to you all as last week I wasn't able to do it. It was a very, very busy weekend, very, very busy week. So I'm getting readjusted to some of the things that I'm doing um, with my coaching sessions as well as um, getting back into my master's studies so I can finish my exam and start working on my thesis. And it's been a trying week but i wanted to make sure i caught up with you this week and give you this week's reading for your archangel power um tarot um it looks like it's kind of all over the place but then again it's not so it depends on where you are on your journey that these cards line up for you so i want to go ahead and jump into this because we have a interesting week ahead um, and I think that some of you are going to really resonate with some of these things. Um, you've been questioning some of these things, um, and you just need that extra oomph to let you know that it's okay, that whatever you're thinking and whatever you're deciding, you're on the right path. So jumping into the first card I drew was the two of Raphael, which says two hearts dedicated to creating something wonderful kindred spirits and don't give up on those you love now kindred spirits to me is actually a very um, key to this to this pool right here simply because a kindred spirit is someone who resonates at the same frequency as you on the same level as you do um, there's an instant connection and the main thing is you feel like you've known this person forever. Like you just know it because you feel like you've known this person all your life and you could have just met them. Um, and there's an immediate, um, draw to them. So, um, that's the one thing you want to, you want to remember about this. And it's probably, it could be someone that you've already known for a while and you've, you guys have had that connection. Um, but you know it because it's like basically you can finish each other's sentences and you can think each other's thoughts and you're on the same wavelength when it comes to certain beliefs and patterns and and and, and whatever your journey is supposed to be. But um, I think that's a good thing. So and this doesn't necessarily have to be a, a person of love interest. It could be a, a best friend. It could be uh a, 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 you know, a number of things, but, um, just remember the key word in this kindred spirit, it's going to be someone that you're familiar with without even knowing them. The spirits are going to connect. So, um, there's a word in the Bible that says, no, um, try the spirit by the spirit. And in this case, you're not even going to have to try. It's just going to feel right. 100% with no question. And you both are going to know it. Okay. So the second card is the moon, which is Archangel Haniel or Haniel, Haniel. <laughs> the opportunity to improve your plans. Listen to your intuition for accurate guidance. Face your fears and grow stronger. Hmm. So there are some things you've been thinking about. There are some things that you've set out and made plans for. But right now is a chance to actually go back over those plans and look them over. Make sure that you're on the actual right path. Not only that, you may uh, look at this as a time to tweak your plans and um, see which route you should go. You might even have two different um, paths that you could possibly go. And you may need to figure out which one is the correct path or the most um, fruitful path that you want to take. Um, also, to um, don't be afraid to step out into it. You may have second guessed it. You may have questioned it because you weren't sure. But at this time right now, especially in the season that we're in with the full moon just passing and also in retrograde, you want to make sure that your plans are concrete and um, feasible for you. So don't be afraid to step off into that area that you think that 
might not be a good one. So um, this is where it comes in about improving your plans, okay? So listen to your gut and follow suit. The next one, most times I pull the cards, they are pretty much in line with each other. One follows the other. So far, this, this pool right here has been a little bit different. Um, next card is Page of Gabriel. Energetic, brave, optimistic, and playful. So there's a lot going on right there in itself. Follow your passion. Okay, this could, oh, well, this could go with the, the moon card as well. Follow your passions. You are ready for any challenge. Opportunities for excitement and adventure. So if I were to say these two cards right here play into each other. Not only do you, are you having a chance to um, improve your plans and listen to your gut, but it is also telling you to follow your passion because you are ready. Um, listen to your intuition for accurate guidance and facing your fears. But get ready because the simple fact is whatever you're getting ready to get into is going to provide excitement and adventure. And it looks like it's going to be something new. So I would be, embrace whatever's happening and get ready to just, you know, dive off into something new for your journey. So it seems it's exciting. All this is very exciting. You have two cringed, you know, two hearts dedicated to creating. And, you know, now when you look at this, when you start looking at the plans that you've made, be ready to tweak them, listening to your gut, but also get ready while you're tweaking it to go ahead on and get ready for new, new exciting adventures. So I think that's all positive. And the last one is seven of Gabriel. Stand up for what you believe in. Have confidence and claim your personal power. This card right here basically is like the seal from what I'm getting. It's the seal of everything else that's going on. It's telling you if this is tr real for you and you know it, stand up for it. You know, whatever your plans are, listen to your intuition and stand up for it. Follow your passion because you are ready and stand up for it. So basically, this is telling you that in everything, in all of these areas, and it again lines up for what both of these say. Listen to your intuition. Follow your passion. Don't give up on those you love. Stand up for what you believe in. This is a pattern. And I thought it wasn't, but now that I look at it, I was wrong. But it's okay. There's nothing, there's really no wrong. So, what I want to encourage you to do this week is exactly what it says. Whatever you've been holding out on, whatever you've been double uh, uh, thinking, of, you know, going back over again and again and again. If you have to go back over it again, you're going to know what's right for you because your gut's going to tell you your instinct is going to tell you your intuition is going to speak for you loud and clear and that's in regards with the kindred spirit that's what regard your business your journey your new journey in life it's going to be new and adventurous and sometimes you might have second guess no i don't want to do that but you know what it's time to take a chance it's time to be brave it's time to be optimistic and it's also time to be playful enjoy the journey not don't make it so stressful till you let you know you're you stop yourself from learning and, and 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 gaining things that you need to gain you know um if you believe in everything of these cards and you know what it is that you're supposed to be doing and you know the path that you're supposed to be following then go ahead and stand up for it and don't let it go and don't let anyone else tell you what it is you're not supposed to be doing or what they believe or think that you should or shouldn't be doing because your instinct is the same instinct that comes from the god source and just like they have an instinct instinct for their life you have an instinct for your life you have an intuition for your life and the god source speaks to you just as clearly as they um as the god source speaks to them so you really don't need any advice from anyone 
If anything, they should be guiding you to listen to your own instinct or to help you figure it out, you know, um, help you to pull out the answers from inside of you, put it like that, in order to um, make the right decisions. Okay, so this is a good pull. This is always a wonderful pull. Anything from the Archangel Power is a good pull. It helps you, it guides you, <clears throat> because it also leads you back to self, as to what self wants to do, what self needs to do, because the God power is inside of you, and the angels are here to lead you and help you make the right decisions within you. All right, you all make it a wonderful week. Have a wonderful, restful night. And I will pick up with you again on next Sunday for your next week's Archangel Power Reading. Take care. This is Coach Melvie signing off. Bye.